welcome to another edition of the Everlast Power Video Series. Today we're going to be looking at our PowerCool 300. Now this is the TIG water cooler that we use in our TIG series line. It's not a standard piece of equipment, but it is available as an option. The PowerCool 300 is rugged and tough. It will cool well over 300 amps and it can be adapted to go with almost any TIG on the market. Right now we're going to go over a few of the basic features so you can see how simple it is to use. PowerCool 300 is designed to work on 230 volts. It comes with a special plug that's designed to fit the PowerTig 200DX, the PowerTig 225LX, and the PowerTig 250EX. Currently it's not designed to plug into the back of any of our digital units, but it will work well with the torches that we provide. This unit has a cooling of about 1 liter per minute. That's enough to get you about 1.7 kW worth of cooling. It also has a pressure of about 0.3 MPa, or that's about 45 PSI roughly. It has a nice lighted switch here, so when the unit is on, you can tell that it's on in a noisy environment. You don't have to put your ear down there to listen for the fan. Moving over here, we've got our torch connections. These are 9mm quick connect, and they're color coded. On the top we have our input and that's the red connection here. Now this is the hot water coming from the torch to the cooler. Down here we have our output and that's the cooler water flowing from the cooler to the torch. Now these are standard for our units and all our torches. Right here we have our water level indicator. You can see the maximum water mark right here. Don't Make sure it doesn't go over that or you're going to have trouble cooling with the water efficiently. If it drops below here, you're going to have the same problem. We're going to take the unit apart now. We're going to show you how well it's built on the inside and some of the basic features and maintenance of it. Let's look at the radiator first. The radiator is designed from copper coils and aluminum cooling fans slid over the copper coils. Now you won't find this construction in all your TIG coolers. Some of them are all aluminum. But the copper helps us because it's more durable and it transfers heat more efficiently. To further demonstrate the quality of this unit, we use an Italian built motor and pump assembly. This is an industrial grade motor along with a stainless steel pump designed to take hours and hours and hours of operation. Let's look at our reservoir and our coolant for a second. We've got a, a reservoir here of around two gallons. Now you're going to need to use either uh, distilled water or a special design coolant for TIG water coolers available at many local welding supply shops. This is our flow and pressure regulator. Although we don't need more than one liter per minute, the pump is capable of putting out much more. We have this put in line here with an automatic bypass that goes into the reservoir. It's preset so that there's no need for adjustment or maintenance. After a couple of heat cool cycles, you're probably going to want to check these water clamps for tightness. Now, this is just a normal part of maintenance and it shouldn't take you too long. When you're operating your water cooler, make sure that you're at least 12 inches away from any kind of object along the sides. If you want a well-built, budget-minded water cooler, the PowerCool 300 is a great unit to buy. If you have any more questions, please contact us at the number listed at the end of the video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.